Good morning, Saints. This is Sister with a testimony. And um, this is actually getting a little bit redundant if you think about it. The thought, the, the thought of um, God's people being in this thick spiritual fog. This is again, this is a couple of days later. And it's literally worse. And we're way, way far from a body of water. So it's like the Lord trying to tell us wake up it's time to get out of our slumber and sleep saints i cannot i i just i'm i'm almost at a loss of words to where i'm at spiritually speaking seeing the body of christ not understand the times and the signs and their lack of prayer. They don't want to pray. They don't want to pray with the Lord for one hour. He said he went to the disciples. And I cannot for the life of me understand if you are born again. And you say that you love Yeshua. And you love the Lord. And you're separated to him. How come you're not praying? And I'm not talking about a two minute prayer saints. I am seriously talking about praying for more than five minutes for more than um, 10 minutes prayer without ceasing prayer as a lifestyle saints the, the television and the internet and all of this stuff that we are being distracted by uh, we come to prayer meeting and we call out for revival 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 you got a handful of people that are crying and the Lord is hearing us and he's going to honor our request what about the multitudes in the valley of decision the multitudes in the valley of decision i heard this morning so clearly in my spirit my people have entrenched in the stench oh wow saints can you can you even imagine what that means for us saints if we have entrenched in the stench, that means that we're comfortable. We're in a place that we have dug in. We've dug our heels in. And we have literally become surrounded by the stench of the world and what is around us. Do not be conformed to this world, but be renewed in your mind. Your mind has to be transformed. It has to be renewed by the word of God. Saints, if you are not in prayer daily, if you are not confessing the Lord daily, if you are not walking with him daily, if you are not talking with him daily, if you are not meeting with him on his terms and not your own, then you are in disobedience and it will become rebellion. If you have dug a trench and you have gotten in that trench and you're a soldier in God's army and you're hunkered down in that trench, think about that, saints. Eventually, the stench of the world is going to drive you to a different place. And that is a place that you do not want to go. Saints, if you're entrenched in the stench of the world, you are distracted from the Lord. You are no longer that soldier. You might have a uniform on and you might have weapons, but you're in that trench and you're waiting. You're waiting. And you're waiting. And the enemy never comes because you are not a threat. And saints, when you're a soldier and you have weapons and you're no longer a threat to the enemy, why would the enemy bother? Think about that, saints. The fog banks are open. And let me tell you what, a lot of folk are investing their time and energy in fog because they cannot see spiritually. And saints, this is about a five mile trip. The whole entire region is fogged over. So saints, think about that soldier 
entrenched, entrenched in the stench of this world. Comfortable in that trench, not a threat to the enemy, a prayer life that might be five minutes a day, if that much. The pastor said on Sunday that if you go to church a few times a year, you're a churchgoer. And it, and you're a, literally a Bible reader. If you look at your Bible three times a year outside of a church environment, what is wrong with the body of Christ? There's nothing wrong with the body of Christ. The body of Christ is the body of Christ. The ones that are doing the will of the Father. And if we are not doing the will of the Father, then we are not in the proper place in the body. And we do need revival. We not only need revival, saints, but some folk may even be left over to a reprobate mind and there's no recovery. Let's cry out to God for mercy, 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 mercy. Saints, if you have a prayer life and you're on fire for the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord God Almighty. But saints, we need you even more. Now that you really are a prayer warrior and you really are praying and you really are fasting, how about you pray for the workers? How about you pray, saints? How about you pray that the Lord of the harvest send workers. And Father God, I praise you and I thank you today. I thank you for grace. I thank you for mercy. I thank you for holiness. And I thank you that God is on the throne. He hasn't left us. He hasn't forgotten us. To God be the glory. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. Get out of the spiritual fog, saints. Only you can do that. Revival starts with you. And saints, let me tell you something. I love you. And I praise the Lord for my friends and family and all of the workers that are dedicated to the Lord and the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ? Hmm, simple enough. His death, burial, resurrection, and the fact that he walked upon this earth after his bodily rec resurrection. Preach the gospel in season, out of season, when they want to hear it, when they don't. God bless you. I love you. It's Sister with a Testimony. I'm going to prayer meeting.